in a quiet little town, there was an old large school where many children attended. One day, a new girl named Lily arrived. She was shy, rarely spoke, and often appeared sad. Tom, a friendly boy at school, noticed Lily and wanted to be her friend. So he went up to her and said, Hello, I'm Tom. What's your name? Lily gave him a small smile and replied, I'm Lily. When Tom invited her to play, she gently declined, leaving Tom feeling disappointed, but still wanting to help her. Over the next few days, Lily remained quiet. One day, Tom found her in the library reading a book about a princess. Tom, who also loved stories, sat beside her and said, I enjoy stories too. Want to read together? Lily nodded and they began reading together. However, Tom noticed something unusual. Each time Lily turned a page, she whispered softly. When he listened closely, he thought he heard her say, Help me, startled. Tom asked if she had said something, but Lily denied it, leaving Tom puzzled yet determined to understand. As they continued spending time together, they grew closer, and Tom still occasionally heard the strange whispers. One day, he asked her where she lived in the old house near the forest. She replied sadly, Tom knew that house and had heard rumors about it being hunted. He was curious and asked if he could visit. Lily agreed, and after school they went together. Inside the house, the atmosphere was eerie and cold. Tom asked if Lily lived alone, and she told him she lived with her mother, who was always unwell and didn't like visitors. Tom sensed something strange and told his friend Jack about it. Jack, being brave, suggested they go to the house at night to discover what was really going on. That night, they ventured to Lily's house with a flashlight. As they crept through the quiet halls, they found the locked door, which suddenly opened on its own, revealing a room filled with old items. They saw a picture of a woman who looked remarkably like Lily. Suddenly, a faint voice whispered, Help me, sending shields down their spines, and they ran out of the house. The next day, Tom asked Lily about the woman in the picture. She confirmed it was her mother, looking sad as she spoke. When Tom asked why her mother didn't like visitors, Lily admitted her mother had been sick for a long time and stayed in her room alone. Concerned, Tom decided 
to return to the house at night to uncover the mystery. Returning with Jack, they searched the house and eventually found a small box hidden behind the picture. Inside was a key. Excited, they went to the room where Lily's mother stayed. She thanked them, saying, Now I can be free. As they used the key, the room brightened and Lily's mother vanished peacefully. The following day, Lily thanked Tom, explaining her mother had passed away long ago, but needed someone to help her find peace. Tom was shocked but understood, and Lily explained that she hadn't told him before because she feared losing him as a friend. Moved, Tom reassured her, saying, You will never lose me. We are friends forever. As time passed, Lily became happier and more open. She joined the other kids in playing. And Tom and Jack remind her closest friends. One day, she even took Tom back to the old house, which now looked brighter and filled with light. In the secret room, they found a beautiful garden, which Lily explained was her mother's favorite place. Together, they decided to care for the garden. Over time, the garden became a cherished spot. One day, they even found a box with a note and a locket from Lily's mom, expressing her love for Lily and asking her to always remember her. Deeply touched, Lily wore the locket daily, feeling her mother's love. The school soon held a festival, and Tom, Lily and Jack sold flowers from the garden, sharing its story with the others. The festival was a huge success, and everyone was moved by the tale of love and friendship. Years later, the three friends decided to open a school, naming it Hope School, near the old house. They planted a garden at the entrance, filled with flowers from Lily's special garden, symbolizing love, hope, and friendship. Tom, Lily, and Jack found happiness knowing they had created a place where children could learn and feel loved, carrying with them the memory of the old house and the love they had shared.